Hi, I'm Shamel Lane for twopeasinabucket.com and right now at Two Peas we've gone back to design school and what we're doing is looking at different design elements and different day, different weeks and uh, today I'm here to talk a little bit about continuity and unity and what I'd like to start with is showing you an album. This is um, a 12 by 12 album that I'm adding pages to at the moment. I work on my layouts out of order but I add them chronologically. So um, when I take you through this album there'll be some empty pages and some half finished pages and things like that because that just happens in real life. It'll be all finished one day. Um, but there's something that is something that I'm trying to work on to make this album have some continuity and that is that although every single page uses different supplies and different colors they pretty much all are built on a craft cardstock background. Some of these you may have seen at two-piece before. This is um, from June's 4x6 photo lab class. And sometimes the, the colors will be very similar because I'll use the, the same paper collection more than once. Um, but other times the colors will be very different. So I've gone from, from the bold reds and the navy into aqua and yellow. But everything on this craft background. And sometimes a pattern paper, but something that's still in tune with the craft. And there are a few pages that aren't on craft cardstock, but by and large, they're all on craft. Now this one was on craft, it is craft underneath there, but I've added red chalk over the top. And then this is a bit of an oddball because that's on yellow. Um, sometimes more pattern, but then craft in the background, or a little bit of a pattern, but then back to craft, always back to the craft cardstock. So I like that this has kept the album looking very unified and um, and it's obvious that these things, although they're all different events and all different um, different places and things, they're all related. But um, what I wanted to do was to find the, the problem spot in, that al in this album and that's here. Because this no longer looks like craft cardstock with the red treatment, and this one is yellow, so it definitely um, goes away from, from the norm in the rest of the album, I want to add something in between these two pages to unify them with the rest of the album. And it happens that I also have plenty more photos from this same place where, where these were taken. It was an alleyway in Melbourne that was just absolutely filled with graffiti. So what I've done is I've, um, I've pulled out my, my photos that I have to choose from, from that day, and I'm going to use a 6x12 page protector which gives you, well it's called a photo protector. It uses, um, it gives you three pockets for four by six photos and so you can put three on each side so you could do six photos in total but of course you don't have to just put full photographs in there. You can also um, make them journaling cards, you can just add more embellishment, you can add a title. So I'm going to create this um, in between page, it's going to sit in between these two, and the craft cardstock is going to come back in here. Some of the techniques that I've used throughout the whole album are going to come back in here, and then um, when I've finished all six windows of this, I'll come back to this album and hopefully I can um, make it so that it picks up on on the things that were unifying the rest of the album and makes these two pages not seem so disconnected from the rest of the book. When I work with the divided page protectors, this is how I start. So I have both sides laid out on the table and I just create um, the six four by six blocks as a starting point and then figure out what I will fill in. So I've chosen three photos out of the stack, but I have some others that I might go back and add um, in cropped form to these three um, cardstock uh, square or rectangles. And these two go together because when we were in this particular um, alley, there was an artist creating a new painting there. So I have a picture of him working on the painting, but also a picture of all his supplies. And he just had milk crate after milk crate filled with different kinds of spray paint and brushes. And then these giant drums full of all the different paints that they used to do the washes. So um, I wanted to include that little look. And then this was something different. when. Most of the paintings on the walls are actual um, kind of more purposeful artworks. They're large, large things that you can tell what they are. You know, there's a, a picture there. But then every space imaginable has something painted on it. And this is um, 
all the the rubbish bins lined up and they've all got little scribbles and some of them some have pictures and words and some just have places where people have tried out the spray paint to see what color it is and things like that and um, so it was an interesting contrast to all the big actual murals so this is my starting point and the first thing I wanted to do was go with that element that's that's forming unity through the album and get the craft cardstock back in the design so that between those two more brightly colored pages I have that craft neutral. There's also an, a few other things that I want to carry on through the album. There's something I started using as a unity element and it actually stopped working because I did something silly. So I'll let you in on this secret. If you want to work on a long-term project, like longer than a few months, then you either need to Pick something that's n never going to go out of fashion, so something like a single color of cardstock. Or if you're going to buy, if you're going to use something that's a design element that's in a current collection, you need to buy lots of it straight up front. Because I bought one sheet of Studio Calico camera paper and I was using one camera on every page. And then I discontinued the paper and I've run out of cameras and I still have lots of more layouts to, to work on. So what I've started doing is pulling in other camera elements. So instead of having just that one camera element that was going to be on almost every page, now I'm trying to mix and match the camera elements. So I have a few things that are going to come into this. I've got, there are cameras in the um, Peachy Keen sticker collection. And there are quite a few camera motifs in the new Amy Tangerine collection. Let's see if I can find a camera. I've already, there was a camera there that I've already used. Um, that was the first sticker. There's one here um, that's like a little camera tucked into a bigger design, a camera there. So there's lots of camera accents there. And then the stamp collection gives you a camera design here. And that might be a really, really good thing to use for um, for albums where you want this sort of continuity because you could take one stamp. You could pick whatever stamp you want it to be and a stamp's not going to wear out when you're halfway through your, your project. So you can just carry on using that same stamped element and that will create that unity through the whole project. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, create the, um, the, the three squares left and add a little bit of embellishment to these three photos and show you how it all comes to be. So I'm starting with an EK Success border punch and some green dotted paper from the Amy Tangerine by American Crafts line. And then this camera stamp is also by Amy Tangerine. And I'm stamping it in black ink. That's the Jenny Bolin fountain pen ink pad there, but you can use any black ink that you like on craft paper. And then I'm just going to cut that out with scissors. And you can see there on the right, I've used um, the border uh, the scallop border that goes on two of the blocks and then a larger block of the green pattern paper on the other remaining craft block. Then I also used some die cuts from the bo uh, Boarding Pass collection by October Afternoon. And this one has a little frame for a photo so I just cut out an interesting bit of graffiti to put behind there. And then there's some um, little flashcards like this one that says tourist. And I ink pretty much everything with Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. Then I added some um, matte paper, which is also October afternoon. And then these fabric border stickers are Amy Tangerine, and this is like a wood grain cut into a little heart, heart uh, border. So I've added that to in a few places so that even within the six blocks, there's a bit of continuity. And the block that had the, had the most green paper didn't have any matte paper, so I punched a little bit of that in a scallop circle to make it match the others and then added that same border sticker again and these three cards that I am decorating are going to give me a place to write more journaling as well as uh, helping out with the continuity. I'm using sand glimmer mist here this is something I've used throughout the album so I wanted to bring that back in on these pages I tend to um, paint on some outlines and spatter a bit here and and on these cards, I also filled in the little hearts on the front of the cameras. 
So I've added my journaling and then popped them all in the page protector. So the six windows are all filled with either um, photos or with decorated blocks. And each of the decorated blocks has a bit more writing. I've tried to use some continuity even throughout the six blocks. So the same camera stamp, the same green polka dot pattern paper, this little heart sticker repeats, the matte paper repeats. And um, then I also tried to keep that continuity through the album. So where I've been using that camera motif that I cut from paper, I've started using the camera stamp. So I'll be able to mix that in and make the just the camera in general be a motif that repeats. And I, um, on many of the pages, have been using the, the Glimmer Mist painted and then spattered over the top. So I did a little bit of that as well. So if I turn to those pages in the album, the pages that were giving me a little bit of trouble. So here we go from craft and a lot of that green to these two and now those elements will repeat here too. So even though this paper now looks red, there's the, the craft cardstock and the green here. And against this yellow, there's craft cardstock and green, and then I add a little bit of yellow to tie that in and make it make sense that those two can go together as well. So that's a little note about continuity and unity in my albums. I hope you really enjoy um, all the examples that we have for you in this week's design school and that you find something useful for your scrapbooking. Thanks for watching.